All right, so let's keep talking. This is part two of these love triangles, y'all. I want to quickly go back to A.D. and Matthew because Matthew truly gave me the ick. He just was really upsetting me. And the fact that he tried to gaslight A.D. was ridiculous. He even said that he wanted to ask her father's permission for his blessing for marriage and A.D., you know, had this kind of interesting reaction. She started to laugh when she said that her father had passed away, but it turns out that she really has daddy issues um, and a lot of trauma and pain from her past with her father, which maybe will come out eventually. But, you know, she, for whatever reason, was like hanging on Matthew's every word. And he really tried to lie in her face. And not literally in her face because they were behind the pods, but he tried to convince her that he wasn't saying those things. And then ultimately he goes and chases after the other woman. Make it make sense. Now, one of the reasons why Clay has such a visceral reaction is because AD told him that Matthew was his competition. When he put two and two together and he figured out who Matthew was in his mind, he was like, oh, hell no. Matthew is not competition for me. Clay was feeling himself a little bit too much. Like they used to say, he was smelling himself way too hard. And he started going off. Turns out that later on, he was crying about how his insecurities were triggered. He acknowledges a little bit later on that he probably needs therapy and so on and so forth. Ultimately, spoiler alert, A.D. ends up with Clay. But really, I think it's because he, you know, chose her, not because she thought she was the prime. Now, another couple that is introduced is Chelsea and Trevor. Chelsea is talking to Trevor in the pods. You know what? Trevor is such a nice guy. He has a mullet. He doesn't think anybody's going to like his mullet. But guess what? Chelsea loves mullets, she says. But it turns out that she lies about a lot of things. And we'll get to that in a, uh, a second. Excuse me. I couldn't even get those words out because it's a trip and a half what ends up happening. But anyway, yeah, Ch Chelsea and Trevor are like looking like they're falling in love in the pot. But there are a lot of thirsty women this season because Chelsea is also talking to Jimmy and Jimmy is just, you know, he's laying it on thick and, you know, he's got all the confidence in the world. And so we want to know, is Chelsea going to pick Jimmy or is Chelsea going to pick lovely Trevor?